I feel like, uh, you know, art and dentistry uh, inseparable, overlapping, cannot be separated. When we say art and science, we really mean operative in the first place. Operative, it deals with the, with the artistic part more than any other departments. Before dentistry, I used to, you know, make paintings, I draw, I love to take photographs, I do a lot of photo manipulation, and it just became natural for me to like hold the burr and draw with the burr or with the brush on a tooth. Imagine someone coming in, you have badly broken dentition, you have to be able to design that smile. You can't do that if you don't have any artistic skill. Yes, there's, there's the book knowledge and the theory of things, but also your hand skills are really, really important. When you provide kids, your patients, a layman on the streets can basically look at that work and be able to say, this, is, this looks good or this doesn't look good. You want to do work that is not only good to your eyes or to your patient's eyes, but it should also be good to another person who would see, because whatever it is that you've done will be visible to everybody. For example, if a patient has a diastema that needs to be closed, it's artistic, right? I have to create the closure and at the same time make it aesthetically pleasing for the patient. So that's art. The other day I was doing um, a filling on a, fr on a front tooth and we're actually taking out paintbrushes and trying to make the, te the, the tooth beautiful and making characterizations, painting tints and painting different colors and playing with colors to actually make the tooth look beautiful for the, for the patient. This program helps you to develop your artistic skills and even if you have artistic skills it helps you to be better.